Hi guys, welcome to a walkthrough of reference TZ2125. This is a first floor, two bed apartment here on Las Terrazas de la Torre Golf Resort. So I'm just standing in the, the hallway, the, the entrance into the actual apartment itself. You've got the lift, sorry, just over here. Okay, so this is your lift coming up to, from the ground to all floors, of course. Um, this way is just the actual front of the actual block. Um, so this is basically just your parking area um, over here. Um, and I'm gonna walk straight through, see what you think of it. So this is a first floor, two bed, one bath. Orientation, directly south, okay? So we're gonna have a walk through and I'm gonna point out anything that I think needs pointed out. Anybody that's watching the videos uh, are probably quite aware of the layout of these, uh, these apartments anyway. But this one I didn't know existed um, until yesterday. So, so that's why I wanted to run up and, and get this on quickly. So as you walk in, um, as usual, you come into this kind of hallway area. You've got the open plan kitchen directly to the right as you come in. All looks in, in good condition, no cracks, no damage to the worktops or anything else. Your boiler is just behind this cupboard here, which of course has never been switched on. You've got your, your hood, still with the stickers on it, the ceramic hob, same stickers on it, and the oven there, again, never been turned on, all, this, all the stickers still on it. In terms of what you've got here, space for washing machine there, so it's kind of full size space. You've got a slimline space there for your slimline dishwasher, if that's what you chose to put in there. And then your space here, of course, for your fridge freezer, which looks like something's been left in there by someone else. But all good condition, no problem at all there. And then walking straight into the lounge. Nice and bright, as you would expect it to be with a south facing property. It's actually really well located for the clubhouse and things as well, this actual apartment. So going around the, the normal bits that I always try and get through. So behind this panel here, that's your pre-installation for the AC units. When I say AC, I, I generally mean the, the reversible units, uh, the inverters. So that's your heating and your cooling. All the piping is there, the wiring is there. So it's literally the AC guys just come in, take this panel off, box goes on this side and the compressor unit goes on the roof. So you don't see that. This side is where you've got it set up for the, for the kind of TV area, if you like. As you can see, you've got a, a TV aerial point here. Um, someone did actually put something on, on YouTube a little while ago saying, does that mean the block's got an aerial? Um, no, it's, this, it's all digital. So this is basically where, where you go, you know, you've got one point for your TV and one point for SAT. Um, you'll only ever use one of them um, if you're using the, the system that, that A to Z provide, um, which is basically all your, all your international TV channels. Um, but yeah, there's no aerials on roofs or anything like that. It's all digital. Uh, I mean, a lot of people don't use these aerial points at all anymore. Um, most people now, um, well, certainly over here, are using you know kind of the Android boxes or the, the Fire Sticks and, and what have you. Um, so very few people actually use that. But it's there. Um, so if you get the A to Z system, um, that is where that would go into. And of course, if you've got a smart TV, which pretty much they all are now, um, that just you don't need any box at all. Um, it will just plug into that point there. Um, and then your smart TV will automatically get all of the channels that A to Z provide, um, which includes all the, the UK Freeview channels as well. So this side is where they believe you'll have your, your sofa and, and things like that. Now, when you go down low to the bottom of the wall, as you can see, it's a little bit of black there. Um, obviously, this apartment has not been opened up for many, many years. I've actually, well, I don't want to do it again, but I've actually done this with my finger and all that just comes off. So that's just a matter of wiping all that down, um, you know, when properties are, are actually closed up for that amount of time with the heat that we get here. Um, it takes something silly like these shutters being left up for many years and the place would be like a greenhouse. So, so you do tend to, to get this. Um, I've seen it in resale properties, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not unheard of. They need aired, they need aired frequently, which is why it's always a good idea to have a key holder over here. Um, but yeah, that just needs a wipe down. I mean, a lot of people that have bought these and we have sold an awful lot of them this year, um, a lot of people have whitewashed it. They've just got a decorator in and, and basically just whitewashed the whole apartment, um, which is um, relatively well-priced, but it is well-priced. I think it's around about 500 euros or thereabouts. You know, it's, it's very inexpensive. Um, but that's, uh, that's what some people have done just to freshen it up. But actually the paintwork is in very good condition, but things like this, of course, um, we're always gonna find. So I've went around the whole apartment, this is the only place I can see it. But like I said, if you had a wet cloth, 
um, I think some bleach or something like that, you just wipe it all off and it all comes off. Um, but if you wanted to whitewash it, you certainly can. So this obviously leads directly out onto the, the terrace. I'm gonna stay inside the apartment for the time being. So this is our, our way in. Obviously the open plan kitchen there, the lounge is behind me. And then you've got this kind of small kind of hallway area here. To the left is the bathroom. Of course, again, um, don't forget these, these repos are directly from the developer. So they've never been owned by an individual at all. So that bath is very close to a full size. You can't get it on the camera, but um, it's, I'd say between a three quarter and a full size. B-Day there, which to be honest, a lot of people take out um, and just seal that and then just use that as a, a good space for, for towels and bits and pieces. Um, toilet here and your sink here. With regards to lighting, as you can see as well, it's all there ready for your lighting to go in. Um, this is how everything was pretty much sold new. Um, certainly when this was built and, and actually even some new properties we've got on now is exactly the same. Um, but just so you know, the hallway area here, the kitchen, the bathroom are all full ceilings, right? So most people will put spots in there. Um, the lounge and the two bedrooms are solid ceilings. So that would be probably more suited to, to hanging lights, just so you know that. So coming back out into this small hallway area, into what most people would regard as bedroom two. Um, there is a size difference, um, usually about a meter, a meter long difference in terms of size difference between this and the master. But it's the double bedroom. As you can see, the plug points are set out for two singles. Obviously, you can move them around as, as much as you like, but that's what it's been initially set up for. Window out here, just looking straight out into the communal gardens, which is directly ahead of this property. And you've got your inbuilt wardrobe over there. Like I say, these ones are solid ceilings and that's the, the light point is there to, to basically put in whatever you want. Again, if you want it moved somewhere, not a problem. I know I moved all mine around, um, but obviously any kind of electrician or, or whoever you've got actually putting these in, will be able to do that for you, no problem. Again, you've got aerial points over here um, and plenty of plug points everywhere as well. So as I say, looking out the window here, it's just looking down onto the front towards the communal garden area. And your pre-installation for your AC unit, as always, is directly above the door. So again, all your piping's in, all your wiring's in. Um, so very simple for the AC guys to come and fit it in. Okay, back out into the master. So turning left now into the master. So yes, um, slightly bigger room. Um, set out in terms of, of plug points for a double or a king, which you'll get both in here. Um, you've got two electric points here, so they, they believe you want two, two lights in here, but again, you can play about with that. You can take one out completely, or you can put the two in, of course. Inbuilt wardrobes again. <clears throat> Just close that so you can see there is actually two doors. And then again, your pre-installation for the AC units is just above this door here. Again, aerial points just here. And again, lots of kind of plug points everywhere. All of the apartments on terraces have shutters as standard, okay? Um, all the bedrooms, all the lounges always have the white shutters, which is, is you know, great for, for summer especially, because um, as you can imagine, it can get very, very hot. So it not only kind of blocks out light, but it also keeps it cooler. Obviously you're not going to be doing that when you're here, um, but if you pop out for the day to the beach or, or something like that, it's good to be able to close it up so you're not coming back to a, a roasting hot property. Then coming out of, um, out of the master, obviously you can get out into the terrace from the master as well, um, but I'm just trying to give people as much orientation as possible with the actual apartment. So if we come out of the master, back out to the hallway area, so now you've got the bathroom directly ahead, bedroom two to our right. As I turn left, again, this is your, your main entrance in. Obviously you've got your, your open plan kitchen there to the right as you walk in and then straight into the lounge. So let's check out the terrace, which I know is what a lot of people wanna see. So in terms of size, um, Holly obviously at the office can give you the exact sizes, um, but just think eight to nine square meters. Uh, think a table of six quite comfortably will be out here. Um, you can get, obviously you can put um, 
uh, sun beds and things out here as well but I really don't know anybody that does that if you're gonna if you're actually looking to, to sunbathe the vast majority of people would be going down by the pool um, because obviously you want to be cooled enough while you're doing that so outside this is directly south okay so this is early this is uh, not even 11 yet and you can see the sun starting to come onto the terrace um, that will gradually get more and more obviously in the winter this is a first floor right so in the winter the sun's a lot lower so you'll get lots of sun in this terrace like the whole terrace basically will get lots of sun as it becomes into summer then of course the sun gets higher and higher in the sky um, so then the only floor really that's ever going to get tons of sun in summertime is going to be upstairs the top floors I mean that's the that's the only ones anything ground floor first floor second floor yes in winter get lots of it because the sun is that good bit lower so the sun's kind of streaming through but as the sun gets higher in the sky then of course you get less which of course is a good thing you don't want the sun really well i certainly wouldn't want the sun directly on me in june july and august um that is that is proper proper hot but look at where it looks onto directly out onto the pool so you've got this lovely maintained garden area as it all is in here and then you've got a lovely pool area directly ahead really really nice and then that hopefully you can see on the on your device but you've got also the clubhouse the white building just there is the the main clubhouse and supermarket so very short walk if you're walking it you would just use this pathway and that's no more than a five minute walk up to the to the main clubhouse and supermarket um, even if you even if you went to the to the back of the building where the entrance is and walked around using the road it's still going to take you no more than kind of six seven minutes it's very close all of these apartments in this phase uh, if you like if you were looking at it from an aerial view they're kind of horseshoed Okay, and there's a bat. They basically are side by side and go to my right. So this is the very closest um, garden, if you like, to the clubhouse and the supermarket. As you go that way, it gets further and further away. Um, now, you're never going to be more than kind of 10 minutes walk, don't get me wrong, um, but this is the closest. Lovely views, orientation good. This is a great price, guys. 50, 53,000 euros this is. This is the best unit on the resort at the moment. And yet it's probably one of the best positions and it faces south, of course. Community fees, they all differ slightly, um, but if you allow for around 120 euros per month, if anything, it may be a little bit less than that. But if you allow for that, um, then you know you're not gonna get any nasty surprises. But it's around that. And that's your, that's your contribution, of course, to things like the pools, you can see how lovely the gardens are kept. That's, that's your contribution to that. Obviously, it has 24-hour security. The entrance on the way into the apartment, all them staircases, the lifts, everything get regular cleans. Um, so you are getting a good, good, good bit for your money. Right, it's a great apartment, guys. 53,000 euros, great price. Um, as I say, it's in perfect condition. The only thing, if you wanted to be picky about it, is just at the bottom here. Um, but that really is nothing. If I wanted to, if I wanted to, I could have brought, I could have come up here with a bucket of water and a sponge today, and you wouldn't even know that existed. But that's not what I do. Um, I like to show it exactly how it is, um, and give people all the correct information. But that is really no concern at all to me. Um, that wouldn't bother me at all. Um, it's a great apartment in a great position and at a great price. Any questions? Let us know.